Hi, I'm Benjamin Brown. Pray these videos are encouraging and strengthening. And if they are, please share and like. But anyway, today we are in Luke 22, verses 31 and 32. So powerful, very powerful message. And uh, picking up from yesterday where Paul, right, where he had a thorn in his side, right? And uh, he begged Jesus to to remove this thorn from me, right? So you can imagine, right? If he's if he's asking Jesus more than once, like, please remove this. I don't like it. You can imagine how uncomfortable he was. Remember, a messenger of Satan. Remember, King Nepal, and uh, that kind of gives you an idea, like, whoa. You know, uh, how much how much pain was, uh, you know, mine, you know, in here, you know, is that, you know, and uh, whatever calling you have, I don't know, but he knows. But anyway, before we get too deep, let's start praying him already going deep. All right, let's pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, I love you so much. You are glorious. You are wonderful. You are beautiful, Jesus. You know. When you were in the wilderness for 40 days, Jesus, he came to you and he tempted you in every way. And he did not shake you. You are so mighty, so beautiful. Not only that, Jesus, you carried that cross to make that pathway to your father for us. So we can accept you as our Lord and Savior. To make that pathway so we can have eternal life after this. Not only that, deeper than that, Lord. You want to be our friend. You're looking for those that are truly loving you and seeking you. And truly want to stand up and carry the cross for you as well. And the people on the other side of this, I don't know who they are, but you know them, Lord. And maybe this is some messages that they're they're dealing with right now and they don't understand, but you're going to give them revelation. These messages are building them and strengthening them as they are me as well, Lord. You get the glory and honor. You're so precious, Jesus, the gift that gives every day. We don't understand how beautiful you truly did when you laid your life down that we get to live through you and we get to come to you and seek you every day. What kind of gift? And to pray to you for when we have problems, so much more powerful, sometimes than our flesh can grasp. In Jesus Christ's name, these are your people. They are precious to you. That's why you did that on that cross for us. Amen. Glory to God. But anyway, like I was saying, it's so powerful, right? A thorn in my side, Paul said. Oh, yes. Check out www.hortonbrotherscrass.com all lowercase and here's something they made it's one of them uh cups you can get that's a 24 ounce i think they make like a 32 or 33 but anyway you know it's so powerful paul's like please remove this so that kind of gives you an idea right what that's like and jesus like no no my grace is sufficient and uh you know that helps build you believe it or not and jesus got tempted in the wilderness for 40 days so i don't know where you're at in your walk you know he does in uh the mission or the job that god is calling you to do only he knows that and i can tell you you know according to how big that is you know uh you know he he definitely uh the advocate will come to you because the bigger the calling on your life the more on his kingdom it would disrupt and anybody that stands on jesus you know but anyway he will come after but anyway let's read these verses so powerful simon simon satan has asked to sift all of you as wheat wow that is powerful you know, the part that caught me the most, you know, sift you as wheat. But the key word here, Satan has asked. Yeah. It kind of gives you an idea who's actually in control. 
once you realize God our Father in heaven and Jesus rules, he asked. Satan asks if I can sift them. That's mind blowing. To me, that shows whose kingdom is bigger. Who is more glorious? Who is more powerful? Who is more worthy? Because he lies, he deceives. And he's not worthy what he does here. He didn't make any of us. He didn't make any of that out there. It was truly made by our Heavenly Father. Glory to God. And Jesus, him, when he laid his life down, he made that pathway so we can come to accept him as our Lord and Savior. They escape from darkness. Doesn't mean we won't have issues, won't have problems. That will happen until the day that Jesus returns or we leave here. But the assurance is that we have someone that we can pray to, someone we can see, someone that's working behind the scenes that we can't see. So powerful, so beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. You know, but I just I felt really strong to share that, you know, I found that so powerful that he uh, he asked. Right. But anyway, let's read verses uh, 32. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brethren. Wow, what he's saying is once you go through this process, how much stronger do you think you would be? You know, it's a, truly a spiritual battle here. We are. Heaven and earth is in a spiritual battle. Satan's trying to stop whatever God's trying to do because he knows his days are shortened. And he does not want that day to come when Jesus cracks that sky and come down. But it's written in the word, it will happen. But his ultimate goal is to prolong, stop that as much as he can, you know. But anybody that stands on Jesus, he's out to get. So if you're a new Christian, you know, keep seeking him, keep digging in. Don't let the enemy, he will tell you lies. It's not true. Don't listen to this man. Don't listen to that word. It's false. That's not true. You can't do that. It won't happen. You know, anything you're trying to do, maybe start a business and uh, whatever that may be. God knows. OK, and he sees you. He adores you. He's for you. He'll never leave us or forsake us. And uh, it's so powerful. And uh, it's a true honor and privilege to get to do this. And uh, I, I know these videos are strengthening his people. Brothers and sisters in Christ, once you have them as our Lord and Savior, right? This is to lift each other up. That's what it's about. It's not about Benjamin. It's all about Jesus and his glory. He is worthy to be seen. So whatever you have going on, you know, I don't know. But, you know, keep these in mind, these things here. You know, it's never to harm you. It's to build you some things that we have to go through. And uh, because if you have a calling or something that you have in your life, you know, there's things that we go through to strengthen us, to make us stronger, or maybe even to draw us closer to our father, you know, and, uh, you know, it's true honor and privilege to get to do this. And uh, I love his word. And uh, anyway, he showed me how to walk a whole lot slower with the spirit and to love his people a whole lot deeper. So if that's you, you're realizing now Jesus has been working on you and he's working on your eyes and ears. Now you're understanding and seeing the beauty of what he did. He laid his life down. He sacrificed his self to make that pathway. He laid it down so we can accept him as our Lord and Savior. He made that pathway to heaven for us. If that's you and he's been working on you and now you realize it truly. And now it's time you want to do that. You want to give your life to him. And we were all born as sinners. And you realize now that from the time you were born to now, you are a sinner. And you want to accept them as your Lord and Savior. We're going to pray, but pray. We're going to go deeper, okay? Let's pray. Dear, gracious, Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your only begotten Son, Jesus, to make that pathway to you. 
Jesus, glory and praise to you for what you've done for me. I see it now. I see the beauty of what you did. You took that beating. You carried that cross. And I realized I was born as a sinner. And I want to give you every one of my sins from the time I was born to right now. I give them to you in exchange. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Glory to God. Not only that, Jesus, you're going to send me the Holy Spirit. But when you do, Jesus, put a hunger and thirst. Matter of fact, in all of us that's watching this video, that we just can't get enough of you, that we want to seek you more and more and grow deeper in you, to be closer to you because you're truly looking for those that want to pick up their cross to help you build your kingdom. Yes, Jesus, that are truly hungry, seeking you. May you put a hunger and thirst in us. Yes, Jesus, because you will return one day. It's coming and you will sit on your throne and you will separate the sheep from the goats. But anyway, thank you, Jesus name for what you did. Amen. Sorry about that. I got a little off track with that prayer. But hey, you know, that's the truth. What I prayed. And if you prayed that, too, as well, that is going to happen. He will crack the sky and he's coming back. But anyway, welcome. If you're a brother or sister in Christ, glory to God, you know, he is worthy of the praise. You know, it's not about Benjamin. I want him to be famous. For what he did, you know, as I'm growing with him and uh, when I look at, you know, the wildlife, the trees, the animals, you know, the insects, everything. Like now when I look at trees, I see Jesus. You know, because it reminds me of him. He, you know, that which it says, you know, if you go well in here, a lot of it's about trees. You know, there's a lot of it where it talks about trees planting you by streams of water. Right. And uh, you, you you will, well, actually, let's go there. I wasn't going to, but Psalms 1. Yeah. Psalms 1, I'm going to read this one. Here it is here. Psalms 1, verse 3. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do, prospers. Prospers. You know, when you get all closer to God, you know, one thing that has to happen, he has to pull out these impurities, the flesh that's in you. And, uh, you know, maybe that's one way he does it, by sending, you know, by the enemy coming and sifting us, you know. Because uh, of impurities, the flesh, that's got to come out, you know, because our fleshly desires, right, the closer you draw to him, you know, over time that they can overwin and uh, the enemy wants us to, to fail. And uh, that's one way that that maybe he he does that right to strengthen us. And uh, I don't even know where that came from, but hey, um, you know, amen. But, you know, that could be one reason, OK, because. Uh, this flesh likes what it likes. You know, we were we were born here in this sin, and that's why we have to repent. And anything we do wrong, give it to Jesus. And uh, it's always something we're going to deal with. But I'm here to encourage you and strengthen you. And uh, when I see trees, I see Jesus. And remember the tree in the garden that Adam and Eve was told not to eat of? You know, so powerful. You know, um, again, right, a tree, which is tree is what? Life, right? And then it shows there about, your tree will grow, right? And over time, at some point, it will produce a fruit, right? That will that will generate a harvest for you. It's amazing. God, it's like God based life almost like a tree for us. And now when I go out and I see a tree, I just don't see a tree. Like I see the handprint of our Lord and Savior, our Father in heaven, because he made them trees. He made everything here. So when I go out and I see that stuff, animals and everything, it's just, it just reminds me of him. And it's so beautiful and powerful. But anyway, let's close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, what an honor and a privilege to get to do this. You get all the glory and praise for who I am and who I'm becoming. I just know these videos are strengthening your people and encouraging them. And they're for me too, Father. I just cherish you and love you. I'm in love with you. This world you truly made, and he lies to enemy. Sweep these videos, open up eyes and ears like never seen before. 
sent out angels, overwhelm his darkness and push it back, that he's got to let go of those that do not belong to him, that they got to come and see the true beauty of the true creator, the true one that laid his life down so we can have that pathway. So much power in that, Jesus, more than what we can grasp in this flesh, that gift you laid down, that we can come to you daily and give you our issues, our problems, and you always are listening to us. You never sleep or slumber. You care for us that much. That's why you laid your life down. So much grace, so much love, so precious you are. Thank you for revealing how precious you are to me and that you will open up eyes and ears like never seen before and they can see the beauty of you. It's not about Benjamin, it's about you. Glory to you forever in Jesus Christ's name, amen. But anyway, remember to stay strong, okay? He sees you, he knows where you are at. And he'll never leave us or forsake us. That's why he did it, okay? But anyway, check out 1 Peter 5, verses, uh, verse 7. Yeah, cast all of your worries and anxiousness and so on to me, according to what Bible you have, okay? Check that out, 1 Peter 5, 7. Anyway, you stay strong. He's got you. He sees you. He adores us. Stay strong.